everyone! Um, welcome to a haul video. Uh, my name is Serena B and this is my very first video at my craft desk, my new desk, my new apartment. So if you're interested in some of the products you see in this video and you want to see how I use them, please subscribe and follow me for updates and different videos that I'm going to be posting in the near future. So I'll try to link down everything that I bought um, down below if you guys are interested, if it's still available of course. I'll have all the links down below for the products that I'm going to show you in this video. But I'm just going to get right into it because I have a lot of stuff to cover and I'm really excited. So I'm going to go with this thing first. So uh, the other day I went downtown and I went to Urban Outfitters and I found this bag of jumbo confetti. It's really cute. Um, I love the colors. It was on sale for $4.99 and the packaging is really cute too. I might want to use that. I'm going to be starting Project Life and I thought this would make a really great shaker page for like an intro to the album. And I just fell in love with them and I think Jumbo Confetti would be really fun to use in shaker pockets so why not uh, I just I decided to pick it up I'm really excited about it I'll start with the Studio Calico because I don't have that many things um, I placed an order mostly for pocket pages for my um, project life I'm going to be doing 9 by 12 and for some reason this size is very hard to come by the page protectors are really expensive so I only bought two because shipping was crazy um, the, if I added another pack, the shipping would have been like over $15, so I think I was able to keep it uh, relatively cheap by just getting two packs, but I don't think this is going to be enough because there's only 18 sheets together. And then um, I just picked up these vellum stickers. I've never had them before and I always want to try them out. So these are the Color Theory Lavender, I think, and very simple font. Then I got these Color Theory um, Puffy Hearts. I love the style of the hearts. Next I placed two orders on eBay for washi tape. I got these two. This is like a pink and gold um, spotted washi tape. Um, this is kind of like a bad roll I guess because the glitter is on the white spots as well, not only on the gold dots. Uh, I mean the foil is at least and then this one is supposed to be white with gold dots and I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up but there's some very faint blue dots in the background as well but you guys can see that this one's like a nice clean washi and the other one has a lot of gold specks everywhere so I mean I'm still obviously gonna use it but I kind of wish it was you know what I paid for type of thing but I got this one mostly because I was obsessed with the one from Target and it's I'm never going to be able to get a chance to get that washi tape, so I thought this was the next best thing. Then I got these two heart ones. This is a gold foil heart. I have the one from Little B, but it's just not sticky and it's too thick. So I figured I'd get this one and if I like it more, I'll, I'll get rid of the other one. Then I got this purpley pink uh, foiled heart one as well. So they're cute. Moving on to scrapbook.com, a lot of the things I want from the CHA release is still in back order, so I didn't get everything I wanted from these collections, but I got some stuff. Um, starting with the Maggie Holmes Bloom, I got the stamp that says Love This. It's a self-inking stamp, and I thought this would be really great, and you could probably use this a lot of different ways, so I picked it up. And there's actually a little heart in that spot, it's just it didn't show up in the packaging. I also got the Snap Simple Stories Carpe Diem. So there's 4x6 cards, 3x4, 4x4, 2x2, and then some ephemera. And these are really cute. Um, I'm not going to go through it because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos out there and I don't want to make this video way too long. So if you guys want to see, you can just pause the video here. I love the bright colors. It's very fun. And some of these cards are very, very adorable. I can't wait to use them. Next, I got the C'est La Vie collection from Pink Paisley, and all I picked up were these black, um, like, gold foil stickers. I, I just love the sayings. They're very trendy right now, like, boss babe, and um, work hard, play hard. I just really like these things. They're very positive quotes. Um, I also picked up some crystal stickles because I saw a card that someone posted on Instagram, and it just glittered perfectly. I have every other, like, clear glitter stickles color but not this one so I had to pick it up. Continuing with the new stuff, I had to get my hands on this stamp set. I'm obsessed with it. I love the different bows. I love the stamp right here. Hello lovely. They're really really cute. I'm really excited about them. I can't wait to play with them. And then I got this uh, thicker. It's called Celebrate. They're gold foil foam thickers 
and they're from a Pebbles collection. I really like the font. The style is very funky, except they're really, really big. I thought they would be a little bit smaller. They would have been better if they were a little bit smaller, in my opinion, because I don't really like big uh, thickers. I feel like they're hard to use sometimes, and medium size, like this was like half the size, I think that would have been really cute, or maybe just a little bit shorter. But I'm definitely going to, you know, obviously use them up and try to use them in my project life. Even though I think they may be too big, but we'll see. I'll try to work it in. I also picked up some 12x12 paper from scrapbook.com. I'm in love with the Little You Crate Paper Collection. Even though it's baby themed, I think it's very versatile and you can definitely use it. Um, these are just so cute and I want to kind of like cut them out. And the little bunnies are adorable. I love all the little happy animals. I really want the ephemera and the stickers and the 12x12 cut apart sheet for the girls. But, oh my gosh, it's sold out everywhere. It's so hard to get my hands on that. So I'm just waiting, basically, until I can pick it up because they're really, really cute. And I think I may get the boy ephemera as well. And the pieces that I won't use, like the months and stuff like that, um, I'll probably just re-gift that to someone who has kids. If not, I can use them to document my kitty cats. There's some sayings that would, that would work for a new pet or if you're doing an album on your pet you know, when you had baby pictures of them I think it would work out as well not just for human babies it'd be good for everything I think so and the back looks like this but I got it for the other sheet um, this one is from the Celavi from Pink Paisley I got it because I want to cut them apart and use them on my um, vision board so I'm still working on a video for you guys on my vision board and I'm hoping to have it uploaded very soon. The back looks like this. This is the only sheet that I picked up from the line from Dear Lizzie, the Happy Place. I really, really do not like that collection. I don't know, maybe it will grow on me eventually. Like at first I never liked Fine and Dandy, but then you'll hear about that because I'm obsessed with it. I think. Uh, this one I don't like right now, but who knows, maybe. I'll end up liking it. I doubt it, but we'll see. I just really like the glasses. They're just really cute. I have a thing for the sort of icon and heart-shaped glasses, so I had to get this one. So the last two sheets I got um, are the same. This is from Maggie Holmes, the Bloom Collection. It's called Sweet Rose, and the reason why I got it is not because of this, is because, bam, white marble. What? Um, it's not like the nicest white marble pattern. I like white marble patterns that have more darker gray splotches. This is the first white marble paper that any collection has released and I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot more of that because I want to make cards with white marble so um, I'm working on a special project and I'm definitely going to include white marble so um, I'm just really in love with white marble. I can't say that enough. White marble and rose gold is my jam right now. So, so excited. I had to get two. Maybe, maybe I'll pick up another one. Who knows? I just really love that. So, the next couple of things I got from scrapbook.com are not new. Uh, it's the Fine and Dandy Dear Lizzie collection. I've always wanted these things. I also got the ephemera pack, but I already opened it up and put it in uh, this little container I have on my desk. I love this line so much. I never thought I would like it so much, but I love the colors, the black and white, the, the fun bright um, colors. I'm not a fan of red, but it works really nicely in this line. So yeah, bring on the red. I'm just loving it. And there's a lot of fun imagery like houses, which is perfect for spreads of, of me moving out and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. And then with that, I got the thickers. I love this size of chipboard. It's not too thick and it's perfect. You can definitely use it in a Project Life card and it'll still fit in the sleeve. So I'm in love with this line so much. I know you guys are finding these at Tuesday morning now for like $1.99 or something. Oh my gosh, I wish I could find them because I would definitely pick up another pack and hoard them because they're just so pretty. It's definitely going to be hard to use it up because I'm just so in love. This line she did really well with. I'm obsessed. I the card stock stickers. Again, such cute imagery. Love them, and I'm sure you've all seen this already, so I'm not going to spend any more time with this. So moving on, I ordered from Felicity Jane for the very first time, and I'm so excited. I am in love. I've always wanted to order stuff from this collection, and now I have an excuse because I'm starting Project Life. So it came wrapped really, really cute. I love the bow. It's like a perfect bow. So I'll just show you what I got. First, 
I picked up two stamp sets. They're still available and you can definitely find them on their website. I really love this one. I think it was for January. It says 2016. Anything is possible. One day at a time. Celebrate the little things. Unstoppable. Keep moving forward. Inspired by what's next. And then this is going to be good. Today is overs. Focus. Reach for the stars. High five. Go for it. Be brave. There's a lot of great sayings in here. I love the mix of the font in one sentiment. I love the skinny font. It's like my favorite thing. I just really love skinny fonts like that. So really fell in love with this um, stamp set. This one's really cute as well. It says daily, weekend, routine. Today was and there's a blank. Happy day. Just a thought. Adventures. I really love the adventures. One reason to smile. I like the lines. I thought these would be really great to like stamp and create your own embellishments. And even like layer together so I thought this stamp set would really be useful in project life so I picked up this one as well it's on repeat which is really cute for like currently listening to sort of pages or whatever so really love these and there's another two I really really wanted but um, I needed to cut down because it was starting to add up <laughs> I think these are $14.99 each so yeah I had to cut down so I got the papers for January and February. I think this one is January, so I'll go with this one first. I'm so in love because a lot of subscription kits, they don't offer just the papers, which is kind of lame in a way. Um, the reason why I like Felicity Jane is because they offer all the papers for only $5, and the bonus was I didn't even know it came with a sticker sheet. I honestly thought I was just paying for the papers, and I was totally fine with that because these are really great patterns, and they're unique because you can only find them at Felicity Jane's, all designed by them and their people, and I'm really in love with it. And the fact that they sell them separately it just is a great, honestly, a great plus. I didn't want to have to buy the whole kit and get things I didn't want. That's why I've never subscribed to a kit before. And the fact that I can just get the papers really, really makes me happy. I love these colors. I love black and white. The pops of pink and the, the gray, the teal. I just really, really love this collection. So this is called Suzy. And I like the 2016 card. The flowers are gorgeous. These cards are very, very workable um, in the sense that each one of them I can use. There's not one card that I don't really like because they're all usable. Like, I, I love that about it. The back looks like this. I love the scallop. I love how it looks against the pink and the white. Just great packaging, great visual. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, just, it's, it's very fun. <laughs> um, this one's really cute, but I love this one, of course, polka dots. Oh, I love 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 this again the same thing with the stripe at the bottom it's just adorable how they did that um, they paired them up really really nicely and the back is really cute too look how adorable it's like a messy polka dot I love these colors together guys look how luscious this is in person the colors are so vibrant it's it's great it's very very beautiful in person like I would frame this <laughs> No joke. The back looks like this, kind of like a cat eye sort of thing. And then again, the pop of black and white, which I love. This one is another one of my favorites. I love all of these papers, but this one's really, really cool. And the back looks like this, which is also usable, which, you know, sometimes you just need something like this for like a background, and that's really cool. So I love how they give you options. And then there's this fun green polka dot. And then there's like this little snow sort of looking um, confetti type thing page this one is called something sweet and it's the february kit and i'm so in love i love black and white so i love how every collection has black and white with other colors so again it comes with a sticker sheet that you can cut apart and this time it has tags and little labels and they're really cute the first page you get this nice fun pink polka dot again that black and white border at the bottom is just a gorgeous pop of color really like this one too but I like the other page a lot more but this would be fun to color in this one is really cool as well it's like arrows I really really love this one it's really fun and then this is like a off-center chevron arrow pattern really cool but I like this one a lot more this is a classic white wood grain this is like a 
checkered and then again that black pop of color at the bottom love this one guys again the floral patterns are so vibrant and luscious it doesn't feel like it's paper it's so gorgeous like i would love to frame this and maybe add a quote or something like big letters how cute would that be to make wall art um another pink stripey sort of page love this one they're teeny tiny hearts black hearts I just absolutely love this page. And then the last one is the cut apart sheet. Again, the cards are just so great. I love how they're simple enough to use as is, but if you want to dress them up, you can, and it would make them look really cute as well. So you can leave them as is or add more to it, which I love. And then the back is really great too with the XOXO. So what do you guys think of my haul? What are some of your favorite items and some items that you just got to have yourself? Because I think I got some really fun things and I'm really excited to play with these items and I can't wait to get started on Project Life. But I'm definitely going to be planning some Project Life videos for you guys and how I do it and how I approach it and uh, different stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what your favorite item is. Please leave a comment down below. If, even if you just want to say hi, that'd be nice too. Um, please subscribe for more videos on my channel if you like crafty things like this. And also, please give this video a big thumbs up because that's how I know you like haul videos and I'll you know, be able to make more for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!